to an audience, I would just say this is um, a good time with weird music. I think when the idea of writing a 30th anniversary piece came up, it seemed like it should be celebratory. How do we recognize the journey that we've gone on together, and how do we compare that to another journey in our lives, which would be really, really, really fun? Imagine taking this incredible car ride together. What is that feeling of being on the road, you know, that feeling of abandon? You're going somewhere and who knows where. Turning on the car radio and singing at the top of your lungs. You know, let's just have a really good time. Not necessarily know where you're going or where you're going to end up, but the thrill of being out there. I view a big part of my job as a director of a production like this to be of service, to make elements of backstory visible. And part of that with these guys is their deep and long-standing relationship and their collaboration over 30 years. What audiences will ultimately experience is a journey a metaphoric representation of the big and improbable moments that happen in a person's life. There, there is a little bit of the apocalypse in the music because the music is really big and loud and the visuals take over, but it's by far the happiest apocalypse I've ever seen. They really rock out, flying like only the Bang and the Can All-Stars can fly. I worship them, you know. many ideas within art that people stay at arm's length from because they're kept at arm's length. Some artists, some institutions put out a hand to the audience and bring them in. I think Bang on a Can has done that. Road Trip is awesome. This is happening right now. I'm alive. I, I want to connect with you.